everyone, welcome to Line Cloud 9. I'm Jacqueline Rose. Sorry for the camera angles. This video is a little weird because I just kind of decided at last minute to record it and uh, post it and, and show you what I did. This video is a DIY of me making some angel wings. I really love how they turned out. However, there are some mistakes I made, but uh, it's not a tutorial. It's just how I made them. So I hope you enjoy it. And here is the video. Thank you. All right, so we have screws in here um, to hold this onto this. We have a, um, this is actually a shelf triangle, you know? And then these are like shelf brackets. And then after my husband connected those, because he's wonderful, uh, onto this shelf piece, um, then the, I put duct tape on the little pieces of metal that he used and he put two screws in each and then one screw at the end of this to keep it on there. I wanted it to be three inches, uh, off so that it would set on your back like that and then it would come off three inches. Now, what I did over here was I flipped it like this so that the bracket that's going to go on your back is that and this is kind of flush. Um, and so then I added these and I just rolled up some of the foam and put some white duct tape on it And I added that to the ends so that I could get this little like Elbow in the wing, right? And then I cut up a lot of these little wing feathers And so what I'm gonna do is attach them um, I'm gonna cut out Foam in the shape of the wing that I want So I'm gonna take pieces of foam like this and um, cut them out in the shape I want. Okay, so here's what it looks like before I put the feathers down. And now I've put these feathers down. So it's kind of how I'm gonna go. It's, there's 14 feathers. That's what I ended up with just by doing this this way. There are actually two layers of feathers. So there's um, 28 here because there's gonna be feathers on this side and then there's gonna be feathers on the other side of the uh, pattern I cut out, if that makes sense, because like I said, I'm going to cover it on both sides. Then I'm going to go in with some smaller feathers and like medium-sized feathers and put them in here on both sides. And then I'm going to go in with a bunch of small feathers and then another layer of small feathers and a final layer of small leather, another layer of small feathers and a final layer of small feathers on the top to just look like real wings as much as I possibly can. I used cushioning foam or whatever, foam cushioning, whatever. Um, I'm going to be using two so far this is the second one i cracked into and i have a feeling i'm gonna need one more but it won't i won't need like a whole another row roll so i won't actually finish the third roll i might i might get away with just using this we'll see and i'll let you know um but here so far i have that the duct tape the frame and then two rolls of foam so far um to make this beautiful set of wings so these feathers I just made them 19 inches ish roughly about 19 inches so um, that's how big those these are um, I'm gonna have to trim right here if you can see um, I might trim these ones up a little bit so that it's they're not sticking out or layering as much but I don't know we'll see you know and then um, yeah so I'll, I'll come back with uh, once I've attached these I'm attaching them with hot glue so I already have hot glue and hot glue guns, so I didn't have to purchase that, but um, I did have to actually purchase more hot glue, but not the, the glue guns are fine. I had those already, so I'll come back to when I have that. Uh, I'll, I'll actually, I'll, I'll glue this on there and then I'll show you what that looks like. And then I'll come back and show you once I've glued the first set of feathers and then so on and so forth. So we'll see in a little bit. All right, here we go. So I've got the frame uh, glued on, or the these are glued on. Uh, it's double-sided, so there's actually, if you can tell, there's two layers, one on this side and one on this side. And so this layer actually folds over the top this side, and then the other layer comes over the top of the other side. So there are two layers there, and on both sides. So there's two of these. Oh, I didn't finish gluing that, whoops. But the other side is glued. This one's finished gluing. I thought I did that. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Anyways. Hot glue I don't think is the best answer. I think it gets too hot. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to unplug my hot glue guns and let them rest a little and then do it again in a little bit because it does this melting thing that I don't love. Um, so I'm going to have to figure something out with that when I attach the feathers because the feathers are more important than anything. 78, 78, 79, 80, like 80 inches roughly um, from tip to tip so far. It's actually going to be bigger than that. All right, so I've glued these down with hot glue. I just unplugged my hot glue gun, so it was a little bit um, cooler when I was doing it. So these are glued down. I'm going to trim this a little, and then I'm going to add another layer on the other side so I can match up the feathers as best as possible. And then I will add the next layer of medium feathers and then a small layer. And then on this side, I have some painter's tape so it doesn't rip the foam when I take it off. But I set these feathers where I like them so that they were symmetrical with that side as best as I possibly could. And so now um, the tape is to hold it in place while I glue it um, so that I know I'm gluing it the same on both sides or at least as close as I possibly can by eye, which I like to think that looks pretty good. So we're going to glue this. I'm going to start at the top here, start gluing each of these down, and then I'm going to start over here and glue these ones down, and then we're going to flip it over, do this on the other side. Um, so yeah, that's what we got. I definitely see why people charge like 400 bucks for these things, and they're not even charging enough in my opinion, <laughs> because it's a lot of work. The only reason I think it's like rather cheap is because, the, you know, it's, it's just foam, foam fabric, and this foam stuff is like, see, you can rip it. With one hand, I can rip it, but if you aren't beating them up, then they'll last longer. And it's not like, it's like I have to pr rip pretty hard, but not really. And so I see why, like, this fabric would be cheaper. But uh, if I did it with, like, a different fabric, like, if I added, like, fabric, like, that was stronger but stiff, almost like a... Uh, Oh, what is that stuff called? I can't think of it right now. But it's like a thick, it's a, a stiff fabric. Uh, interfacing, yes, that's it. Uh, interfacing, uh, not fixative, like not iron fix fixative stuff, but just like, just interfacing uh, without any adhesive would be like stiff, but I'd go with like a thinner interfacing so that you could kind of see through it because I think the see-through part is kind of pretty once you're finished because this will be more layers and stuff. Um, so it'll be less see-through than what you're seeing here. But yeah, I would see why this would cost so much and it would cost even more with the right fabric, but it would last and be a lot more durable with that fabric. So if I was to ever make another pair for myself, I think I would try interfacing, even though that would be more expensive and uh, and all that. It would be, it would be sturdier and, and all that. So... All right, well, I'll see you guys in a little bit after I have glued on the next row. So, all right, we're back, and uh, yeah, lots of sprinkles of cuttings because I, I cut out the, so this is back to the, the back that we're looking at, uh, or sorry, the front. This is, so this goes against my skin, and then this is the inside of the wings that you'll see facing, and then if you were looking at my back, it would be the other side, the other the, this other side. So this is the front, um, and I cut out, the edges so that there wasn't anything like sharp edges because I think it looks nicer and then I kind of get this smoother look if you can see it because you can kind of see the frame through it even with those double layers so I kind of did that just to like help out with that um next is the medium sized feathers which I already kind of started cutting out um just to see so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut a bunch of them so that I can place them like this uh, and we'll get another layer of these medium th feathers coming across uh, probably going something like that and then I'll do the same thing on this side and then um, then we'll do the smaller feathers but I'll have to do that medium feathers on this side of the wing and then on the other side of this wing and then on this side of the wing and then the other side of this wing so um, the front and the back 
Uh, so that'll be one, two, three, four rows of small feathers. So um, I'm gonna cut them all out and, uh, and I'll show you uh, what I got when we get there. Welcome to the next day. I've glued the um, second row of medium feathers on and I also made one feather like this that I put on the seam of the front. Oh, I'm back up here, there we go. Of the top of this so that it covers it nicely so we get that better look and um yeah so now i have to add little feathers um so that should be the final thing and then we would be able to try her on i'm also going to add some some uh things here to like kind of cover up this a little bit so that you can't see it as bad maybe possibly um i'm not too worried about it because you don't see it that bad once it's on my back uh, but we'll be back when I am done with the little feathers. All right, so we're back and this side is complete. So that's the final look of the wing. Um, I added, uh, like I said, I added a long one here. I also added another long one here and I only attached it into the center um, so that I could flip this flap up, flip the flap. <laughs> so I could flip this flap up and tuck these little ones underneath it uh, and, and then move them along in a feathery way. So that's what I kind of came up with for the final piece. Um, I'll be taking the smaller feathers that I made here. I made like 18 or 20 for each side. And I ended up not needing any more extra foam, but, uh, but it was like really scraping at the bottom. I mean, I literally have, this is all I have left and none of these pieces are big enough to make a feather. So that I literally made just enough. <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other piece, uh, this other feather, and I'm going to glue the center down to it like I did on the other side. And then I will be tucking the little feathers that I have made inside there and making another pattern on this side. And then I will be flipping the wings and doing both of the other sides. And then I will be complete. So I will see you when I've gotten there. Here are the completed wings. Good boy. Go on. Go on, Kai. They are huge. <laughs> so something I added was uh, some strings to tie them to me. Um, the way that it sits isn't great. I, you know, I wouldn't know until I made them. So. Um, I found that there should be a longer piece that goes onto the back than just this V, but uh, that's just one thing that I found out. Um, and yeah, I overall though, they're beautiful. I mean, I have to say I'm pretty impressed and I probably would have added more small feathers and like done this like intricate part to it. However, I ran out of foam and so that's what I ended up doing and I was trying to make it as cheap as possible. All the materials I got uh, ended up only costing me like 40 bucks, maybe a little less. So overall, uh, I only spent like 40 bucks on everything um, and I th I'd say that's pretty good. Um, you know, like I said, something like this would cost somebody $300. Um, although I think uh, looking at the other designs and the other the other f wings, I see that actually mine are a higher quality than theirs. Um, as you can see with the side view, how thick they are, they're much thicker than the other people's wings. So I have a lot more foam, a lot more things that I did to it um, that people don't do. Plus the, uh, just the largeness is, is different too. Like the, uh, the wing span being spent out. Uh, a lot of wings aren't as realistic as mine. And I find that they do like this, like closed wing look. I really wanted this like full arched out wing look. Uh, I thought it was just really pretty. So yeah. Uh, well, I'll show you what they look like on. All right, guys, we did it. We are an angel. <laughs> this is the final result. I have it on my shoulders now. And that's what we came up with. 
It's really hard to see the whole thing. They're really cool though, like quite incredible. They're so big. I love them. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed me making this video on how I made these wings. Let's see if we can do a little switcheroo. There we go. They are very long. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how I made wings. And I hope you like my wings. They took me a while longer than I would had hoped they would. Um, but I'm absolutely mesmerized by the way that they turned out. They look really nice. Way cooler in person. Okay, that's a mess, isn't it? Yeah, there's a mess over there. Time to clean. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, guys.